Hi guys, it's Jane and for the first time in a super long time, I am going to do a video on Joseon with Jane and today's figure is Jang Yibin. So yeah, remember I did an episode on King Suk Jung before and she was the infamous queen concubine lady of the Joseon dynasty that is still very well known today and she was portrayed in a bunch of dramas like Dongyi for one, Jeongjong Live in Love, and a bunch of other things. So yeah, without further ado, I'm going to start right away. Alright, so starting off with some basic facts. Her title was Royal Noble Concert He of the Indong Chang Clan, which is in English, which is why it's super long and I even had to write it down. But in Korean, it was Hibin Changshi, much shorter, yeah. Her birth name was Changuk Dong, a very pretty name actually. But anyway, she was born November 3rd, 1659, and she died November 9th, 1701, which was when she was super young. She was actually 42. She was married to King Suk Jung of Joseon, like I said, and she was actually the mother of King Kyung Jung, who was the half brother of King Yong Ju, who I covered before. So basically, to King Yong Ju, she was his half-brother's mother. She absolutely hated Yongju because of reasons I will start to explain in this video. So yep, those are some of the basic facts about her. And one thing you should also know is that she was considered one of the most beautiful women that ever existed in Joseon. She was so charming and so pretty. She's even listed in the annals which is a book that was written because she was just literally that pretty. She was first a lady-in-waiting, or just more commonly called like a kunyo, and that is how she first entered the palace, and which is how, you know, King Suk Jung first got to see her. And obviously, as beautiful as she was, he kind of fell in love with her. And even though the Queen Dowager at the time really, really didn't like it, he favored her as a lady in waiting but then like you know during their like little relationship before she was a concubine you know a lot of the important people didn't want that because the king already had a wife for one and you know it just wasn't good for him to be like crushing on a lady in waiting so she was kicked out but then later king suk jung brought her back in but you know there was a bunch of stuff and if i explain it now then this video is gonna get too long so i'm moving on in 1686, she became Subong, which is actually a title in the Fuglong ranking system. And later on, she climbed the ranks until she got to Pin. Now, Pin is the first rank that a concubine could achieve in the Joseon dynasty, second only to the queen. So you can imagine how this like kind of infuriated one, the queen, second, the royal elders. But you know, King Suk Jung was the king, he just pushed on with it. And she actually became queen later on in 1689. She was really one of the few concubines who actually got to become queen, but later on, King Suk Jung passed a law that would make it almost impossible for a concubine to become queen because of all the crazy stuff that this woman did next. So when everything seemed well and dandy, someone entered the lives of these two people that basically changed the course of Miss Chang Jung's life forever. And the person that entered courses of King Suk Jung and the royal family's life was, you might know, you might have guessed it by now, she was played by Han Yoo Joo Nim, a wonderful character, you know, she was a smart woman. Her name was Tumi. there's a whole drama dedicated to her 60 episodes, I recommend it, it's really fun. She was even of lower status than Chang Uk Jung was, and she really fell in favor with the king. The king absolutely loved her, and she became a concubine. And she had a son, which threatened Miss Chang Uk Jung's position as queen. And then so she tried to do a lot of voodoo magic and like curse Tongi and like kill her and do the same with the queen. And then one day she got caught. So the king had no choice but to sentence her to death. And she, you know, was forced to drink poison and she died. And the king passed the law saying that no concubine could become queen and that was her sad life. So yeah, and I'll be doing more episodes on the people that I talked about in this video, um, including Tongi and then the original queen of King Suk Jung and what happened to her. So thank you for watching. Bye!